Hey everybody, I just wanted to do a quick update on the channel. Basically just let you know what we were planning on doing here. we got a lot of stuff going on, a lot of stuff planned. Um, mainly, uh, right now we got a couple of these boards that we're going to be modifying, or have already modified. Um, on this board, here, we got the standard CTC uh, motherboard, and it's going to be running the 1280 chip. Let's see if we can focus this in. Wow. This is a, uh, like a 1280 chip. I've actually put a couple of uh, breakouts here to uh, do a little bit of work, but nothing out of the ordinary, just the main CTC bars. This guy, I've actually gone ahead and added a Atmega 2560 chip in there, and that's going to give us a few nice little features. Um, on top of which, we've also added a lot of FET here to our extra connector. And what we'll basically be using that for is everything from CNCs and lasers, on offs. Or whatever you really want. Um, also working on a lot of laser drivers, pulse width modulators, and stuff like that. But for now, the main idea is just to get a board like this running, uh, auto leveling and stuff like that. Uh, uh, micro, uh, really cool features could be added, um, much much like uh, a touch screen, something similar to this. Um, Basically, this is an all-out computer on its own, with its own RAM, um, an MCU, full touch. Um, this is a programmable device um, that you would use to communicate with either of these boards. Um, so what I plan on doing is adding this board to this printer here. And we'll just do some development work with it and testing and uh, get auto-leveling working. And, um, just some interesting stuff, uh, possibly even a um, like laser add-on uh, for the standard Bizzer. Um, if you own a Bizzer 1 or a Bizzer 2 or even a Bizzer 3, um, a laser like this could be easily modified onto a board like this where you can turn a simple G-code on and off and uh, control your laser and turn a standard 3D printer into um, you know laser cutter or engraver. It probably wouldn't be a cutter, but it could definitely be an engraver. Um, on this particular machine, there's already uh, aluminum arms. Um, these are from P3D. He uh, does really good work. He's a good guy. Uh, check, out, check it out if you don't get a chance. Um, standard other modifying features would be like a bearing here. And there's actually a, a bearing in there. And, uh, it's going to hold the z-axis from moving at all and it's a really good feature and idea uh, somebody else came up with it I just you know um, we got some more bearings in the back here and those are gonna hold all of the um, you know the X, X and Y rods here and that's basically gonna control A lot of the movement you get in the printer. Keep it really steady. Other than that, it's a basic printer, just like you guys would have. Uh, with the addition to. Uh, we got window kit. There's actually a uh, uh, hood kit over there. Uh, Critical mods makes those. And you're more than welcome to check his stuff out too. But anyway, just wanted to update the channel to you guys and uh, let me know what you think. Uh, thumbs up if you like it, thumbs down if you don't. And uh, let me know what you think. See ya.